Hey guys, Kaz here. How you doing today? Hope you're doing well. I know I'm doing alright. Hey guys, we just got through with Memorial Day weekend and I uh, got my USA shirt on, but I want to point out it says Property of USA, which means that I'm owned by the United States pretty much. For those of you who don't understand that, I suggest that you research that. I want to talk about something that's not on the mainstream and has a lot of connections to 9-11. And things that are going on with that, uh, ISIS, the connection between all of those things together. But what you're not seeing on the mainstream is that there was an audit of the Department of Defense. And it found out that the United States has lost track of over $1 billion of arms and vehicles in Iraq and in Kuwait over the last couple of years. And this investigation took place in 2016. They're just coming out with the findings now, and it's really, really bothersome. And I guess my point is, is that there's a lot of people that don't understand, and a lot of people who just can't seem to figure out to connect the dots. A lot of military people, too, who just refuse to see the truth of this matter. And that is that the fact is, is that we have been funding Al-Qaeda, and we have been funding ISIS for a long, long time. I want to ask you a question. You know, what happened to Al-Qaeda? We were fighting Al-Qaeda for almost 35 years until ISIS came along, and then Al-Qaeda just pretty much disappeared from the headline news. So did they just retire from terrorism, or did they just go away? You know, what happened to Al-Qaeda? Because if you ask me, my opinion is that, you know, there's always going to be a boogeyman, and I just think that Al-Qaeda became too generic where they had to create a new boogeyman which was then ISIS. But I want to talk about this story because it's very bothersome. For those of you who don't understand we are funding both sides of this war and that 9-11 was truly an inside job. I really want you to do your homework especially if you're new to the movement. There's a lot of great information in my favorites. There's a lot of great information that I've made in my uploads. I really want to encourage you, if you're new, to go through those videos and, and start looking at some of the information that's been made available to a lot of us who have been doing this for a while. But in regards to this specific audit, the, the U.S. Department of Defense audit confirms that the DOD did not know the quantity nor the locations of the U.S. military equipment being shipped to Iraq and Kuwait to supply the Iraqi army when fighting ISIS at this particular time. Now, it's not a surprise to find out that we are, sup we, we are supplying ISIS with this because we're funding both ends of the war here. This is about a complete global domination, okay? In the U.S. military, who is driven by the New World Order, is just a system of tyrannical leaders. And people think that Donald Trump is going to save this country. Donald Trump is not going to save this country at all. This specific transfer included tens of thousands of assault rifles. In fact, $28 million worth of assault rifles. That's a lot of assault rifles. It included motor rounds, handheld rocket launchers, and hundreds of Humvee armored, armored vehicles destined to be used by the Central Iraqi Army. In 2015, the Congress devoted $1.6 billion into this program. And they currently cannot account for over $1 billion of the $1.6 billion that was given to the Iraqi army to fight ISIS. Again, ISIS is the center centerpiece here. That's what you need to focus on. Is that whenever they lose something, ISIS is right around the corner every time. I did a video back on March 19th. 2015, you can find it in my uploads, where the U.S. Pentagon and the Department of Defense did a drop 
of weapons and cash needed an airdrop and they missed the target by 20 miles and they were behind enemy lines where ISIS was set up. Now, how do you do that? How do you miss the drop point by 20 miles? I want you to check out this video of mine. I'll leave a link below and there'll be a link at the end of the video to it. Another thing I want to suggest to you folks is always be ready. You see, I got my emergency rations here. You know, you just got to be ready because the collapse is coming. There's, there's so much going on right now. You, you really got to pay attention. But just to finish up here, Amnesty International was the one that did this investigation. They headed up the investigation. And there's something very specific they said about <clears throat> this particular investigation. And the conclusion that they came to was this. After all this time and all these warnings, the same problems keep reoccurring. There should be an, this should be an urgent wake-up call for the U.S. and all countries supplying arms to Iraq to urgently shore up checks and controls of military equipment. What does this tell you? They're telling you flat out the United States is funding both ends of the war. The links will be below. Check out the information. It's, it's, it's getting to the point where if you can't understand what's going on, if you can't understand that 9-11 was an inside job, if you can't figure out exactly what Al-Qaeda was, if you can't figure out what ISIS is, then you must be sleeping under a rock. And again, I just want to say, if you are new to the movement, go through my uploads, go through my favorites. Through my, in my favorites, you'll find videos of other people who are awake, and you will definitely find some great information there as well. People, you're not going to pull the wool over my eyes. You're not going to slip this past me. This, again, this, this is not on the mainstream. You're not going to find this information on the mainstream. And the reason being is because they don't want people like me and you connecting all the dots as to what's really going on here. The United States Department of Defense is clearly supplying ISIS with arms and weapons. And we are clearly supplying both sides of the war because there's a greater agenda here. It's about global domination. And there has to be a boogeyman that we continually have to fight. Because if there is no boogeyman, then we can't have global domination by the United States Department of Defense and the Pentagon and the U.S. military.